the clean, clear, crisp water of the Great Lakes is the best in the world. I live here. This is my backyard. 15 years ago, where I'd be standing right now would have been wet. The problem is the water levels. The lakes, lakes are currently Huron low and Michigan Michigan have been been fishing. Record lows and near record lows over the last 14 years has been disastrous. The problem is more pervasive than what they're admitting to. There's something very serious happening. You know, we're losing our way of life. I mean, look at it. That's a tragedy, you know? That is just not right. When people talk about low water, this is what it looks like. We'd probably call this a ghost town. We lose this harbor, we lose the local economy. It's the lifeblood of our community. We've got an increase in the drain, and now we've got climate change playing a role too. What's gonna happen to shipping? We have to look at the economic impact. When you have ships, and they're having to carry less product, we're gonna see the effects of that, and we have. We've the river too deep. We've broken through the hard man. The river is dredging itself deeper now. The lake can't sustain on its own. A major negative impact would be on the sturgeon in the St. Clair River. I didn't see or hear much talk about the wetlands. We've lost 25% of the wetlands, where 80% of the fish species spawn. We've already lost that. What I see is our water levels going down. I see our fish going away, our deer, all our other four-legged animals, our birds. Now I have a question for you. What do I tell my grandchildren? What do my people tell their grandchildren and the faces yet to come? What do these other non-native people here tell their grandchildren? What happened to the water? What happened to my people when they say our rights are fishing, our hunting? Well, we can't do it anymore because there is no more water. Even though water levels fluctuate naturally, there's no debate we've caused a major problem. Dredging projects of the past have permanently lowered Lakes Michigan Huron. How long is this going to go on for? And how bad is it going to get before we decide to act responsibly? A proposed solution is to put structures in the St. Clair River. You have to do something, and this is a real practical action that we can do to fix excessive dredging in the St. Clair River. Congressional acts, our Senate, our President, are all going to have to come together and help our Great Lakes. Responsibility to maintain a gift which very few people in the world have. The more the public is aware that there is a solution, the quicker it's going to happen.